Welcome back everybody to uh, another video on EOS and how we can get the EOS daemon set up running locally so we can have our local testnet uh, running our smart contracts. And I'm sorry my voice is a bit cracked up today. I have catched a cold but I thought we were gonna do this anyway. There is quite a good guide how to get through this in the EOS GitHub, which you can find in the description. But I thought I'll go through it in video form and explain sort of what you need to do in order to get this running. Because you need this local daemon or you can also use the public testnet uh, if you want. This is for the local testnet, however. But you need this as a prerequisite in order to follow my other smart contract videos on EOS. So you can check it out at their GitHub. Uh, they have a um, guide for depending on which OS you're running, if you're running Ubuntu or Mac. As of doing this video, the master branch is a bit unstable. So I have been using the Dawn 2 branch, which for me is working fine. When you're doing this, maybe they have fixed the master branch and you can use that one. But for me, the Dawn 2 branch is the best at the moment. What we need to do first is to clone this repository. So we're going to get this URL and go to the terminal. And in here, we're going to go git clone and the URL. And then we need to do it recursively. So get everything. And once that's done, you're going to go into the folder. And then here, you're going to select the branch that you want to um, to build on, and as I said before, I'm going to use the down to x branch. Uh, let's see. And then we're going to use the build script, which is called build sh. And we're going to give it the Darwin build. And this can take quite a while. So since I've already done this, I'm going to get back to you once it all is uh, completed. And once you have successfully executed this script and it's done without error, uh, we're going to launch the actual daemon, which is located in build, sorry, build programs EOS D. And in here, we're going to run the EOS D executable, like so. And you should get this error the first time, which is fine. But you can also notice that um, the script has created a directory called data dir, which is where we're going to go and edit the config file. And if you don't get this error, just exit the daemon directly and go and do the same step anyway, because we need to configure the uh, daemon. So you can open up the uh, data dir uh, and then you're going to open up the config.ini file and once you have this file open we need to specify the path to the genesis json file to begin with so we're going to uncomment this line and then put a relative path to the genesis.json file which is in the actual source folder so it's going to give me two directories up I believe and genesis.json and then we're also going to go all the way down here and look for the enable stale production which needs to be true we also need to list a bunch of producers here that's going to produce the blocks so we're going to uncomment this line and we can find the entire list of producers on their github i'm going to scroll down here so i don't have to type as much here they are. I'm going to copy all of these. You can write them, you know, with your keyboard if you want as well, but I don't have the patience to do that. Uh, they're just uh, named init A, init B, and so on. And the same thing for the plugins. We're going to copy all of the plugins here, like so. You can pause the video and write those with your keyboard as well. We can get rid of these comments. We don't need those. And that should be it. 
now we can save this and we can go back to our daemon here and we can try to execute the EOSD executable once again. And now we can see that it's working. It is now producing block and if you get this sort of output, you know it's successful. You can see all of these uh, block production and then push block, meaning that blocks are now appended to the blockchain locally on your computer, of course. And if you want to use the other EOS tools like EOS CPP to uh, generate and compile uh, source files, and if you want to use the EOS C tool to interact with the blockchain, I would suggest that you copy these executables to your uh, bin folder, which I'm going to show you here. We want to go to, um, let's see here, you want to go to the user local slash bin folder where you see that I have added the EOC executable and the EOS CPP one. And you can simply copy these from your EOS folder, EOS build, then you find the EOC executable in the programs folder. You can copy this into your bin folder. And as with the CPP file, it's in the build tools directory where you'll find the EOS CPP. And then you can use the uh, EOS CPP files like we've done before here, where we uh, can go EOS CPP name and type test project. And it's going to generate the project for you. If this doesn't work for you, then you need to go into the EOS slash build folder and run the make install command which will compile the files for you. Uh, that was at least the case for me. Um, so go ahead and do that and you should have no problem to run the EOS CPP command. And you can check out my other video on EOS Hello World Smart Contract if you want to learn how to uh, create and compile and push these smart contracts to your now own local blockchain. And this is really it for this video. Now you have learned how you can install the EOS development environment on your computer and how to launch your local testnet that you can then use to push your smart contracts to. I want to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and leave a comment for future suggestions. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.